What's going on, everybody, and welcome to GNR Central, and we're playing some catch-up on uh, the last month and a half worth of news. So Duff McKagan, of course, has been doing the rounds promoting tenderness. He's out on tour right now with his album and uh, Shooter Jennings Band, and he was interviewed on Talk is Jericho podcast, and the topic of why Izzy and Steven aren't part of the uh, Not in This Lifetime tour came up, and he was asked by Jericho, was there ever a thought of trying the original five guys? And the bassist replied, sure, but there were just some things that it was just impossible to get it to work. It's not like we didn't try, and with Steven, it was great to bring him out where he could and play a couple songs. This is a long set, like you said, gig shape. You have to train like a pro athlete, not any different. I'm 55 years old, I'm 55, and I gotta train like I'm 28 or 25. So that takes a lot out of you, and you gotta have the mindset, you gotta have the fighter's mindset. Last month, McKagan said about Izzy's absence from the reunion, I don't know what the actual truth is. We definitely wanted him to do it, and I think he entertained the thought, but he never came down and rehearsed. We had amps for him ready to go. The first month of rehearsal went by, nothing. The second month of rehearsal came by, and we're talking to him. We're getting close is. The third month of rehearsal went by, and nothing. I guess he didn't want to tour this big end for so long. And if I'm going to insert my own opinion in here, I think he also probably wasn't happy with the paltry amount of money that they were offering Izzy. And Steven seemed like he would have been happy for any amount of money just to come out and play with the guys more than a couple times. But it's been reported over and over again that the guys were being greedy and they did not want to equally split the money with Izzy if he was going to come out on tour with them. So if any of you guys have the Reels channel in the States, there was a recent documentary they put out. It was like an unauthorized documentary, both on Molly Crew and Guns N' Roses. And the Guns N' Roses one has been making the rounds online. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but uh, Motley Crue was not happy with uh, their documentary. In fact, Nikki Six, Nikki Six tweeted out that the lawyers from the band had sent a cease and desist letter to Reels. No word yet on whether Guns N' Roses were going to do the same, but Nikki Six's tweet said, Breaking the band was not authorized by Motley Crue. Our lawyers sent them a cease and desist and further action will be taken. Ed Reel's channel is the bottom of the barrel, they said. Turning now to some Steven news, since we touched on him a bit, um, organizers of the Kiss Cruise have announced that the original GNR drummer, Steven Adler, has been added to their lineup, which will take place this fall. So the annual event on board Norwegian Pro will be setting sail October 30th to November 4th from Miami, Florida, and will travel to the Great Stirrup K, Bahamas, and Falmouth, Jamaica as well. So right now, Steven's out with his band doing a bunch of gigs, and the Kiss Cruise will, of course, feature other... Um, other bands, including The Darkness, Bruce Kulick, Tyler Bryan and the Shakedown, Bob Schneider, The New Roses, um, Royal Bliss, the Dead, the Dead Deeds, Jake J, and The Killjoys, and Simply Queen. So that concludes today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And go check out my other channel, Rock and Roll True Stories. Take care.